Hi and welcome to another Wednesday with Vilna. So I'm one of the Lizzie's um, designers. I design little projects for her blog and she was so gracious to say that I can make them into a video and I decided to combine all the projects that I do for her in one video that I will share here on my blog every well once every month on a Wednesday. So this video is basically three little projects that I did for her for August and I'm going to show you all three in one video. So the first one is little invitations that I made with um, with popsicles and you can buy the cut file on iHeart Studio and this is the bundle cut file where the words are included. You can see this invitation there as well. So basically what I do, what I did was I used watercolor paper and I cut two of um, the popsicles for every, um, so that there's a back and a front, so two cut files. And then I, I'm just using these craft sticks or ice cream sticks and I'm going to layer them with a little bit of hot glue and between the two um, sides, the front and back. So there you have your little popsicles and it's so easy to make and I think it's so cute. Um, they turned out really pretty. So I'll show you how I made them. These are very nice for any type of invitation. And even though summer is gone and it's fall and winter is coming, I'm sure there's still some indoor pool parties happening and I'm sure you can find any way to to use these and also um, you can make them as fun or as serious as you want to even though I think they scream more fun than seriousness so anyway so you can see I use a big scissors um, by the way I I've been looking for those that pair of scissors in my house I wonder where it is um, and I just cut the sticks in half versus to to break them and they cut actually very easily they just fly all over the place so um, you can see I used the same watercolor paper and I cut out the word invitation and now I'm going to um, be using the the Lizzie six by six papers I love six by six papers I think it's because it if I use bits and pieces of paper, I don't feel guilty at all to use a little piece versus cutting up a big piece. I don't know. It's just me. But now I'm using um, different um, pattern papers from her lines. You know, she's had, she's, there's four lines of her out already. And I'm mixing and matching them. And I'm going to just use strips. And you can see just a little bit of hot glue and just stick it down and fold it over. I don't know if you can, oh, I'm showing, okay. You can see it there, well, no. Now you do, now you don't. I'm just folding it over on the other side and just cutting it off. So both sides is pretty. I think that's basically what I wanted to achieve there. And it's really random, it's not really massively contemplated thought out it's just where do I put this piece of paper and then I had other ideas that I want to supplement the paper strips with paint and other pretty things So I am I have some white glue, just tacky glue, and I want a little bit of glue because I want to add some sprinkles and, and glitter and so on. And then I also mixed these three colors, um, light purple, light green, mint green, and pink. And I'm just going to paint here and there a strip on the, on the invitation as well. I used... 
uh, the acrylic paint for another project that you will see in the last part of this video so and that's what I love to do I love to group projects and work on more more than one thing at a time because um, it fuels my creativity and obviously my productivity so you can see a little bit of white glue and I'm just using a normal brush and I'm just going to paint it on and you can just wash that brush right away you don't have to throw it away so it works wonderful because it's water-based so I'm painting little bits here and there and now I'm going to use sprinkles so this is real cake sprinkles and I think that it's so cute I mean it just makes the such a difference and um, and funfetti or I don't know what do you call the the and then some glitter so the glitter in hindsight wasn't my favorite um, I think I could have used something else for that maybe just white um, or even the little silver balls I don't know but I think in, in the end, in the end, it worked out well. So I think with every project that you do, some part of it is not your favorite, but I think you, you tend to learn to live with it. That glitter is better for me. I, I love the fine glitter versus the, the chunky glitter. And this is all by American Craft. So it's really just play and and see where you go from there and then you decide what do you want to add. Um, you can already see how things are coming along. So one thing that I was thinking of is that I don't want to overdo it. It's always an issue with me is how much is enough. So... I think um, just adding a little bit of pattern paper here and there um, and then I decided to add some trim. I really wanted some white space on the on the invitations as well. I didn't want it all to be just completely filled, which is fine if you if that's what you want, but the vision for this was some white space as well and um there you can see I added the invitation um, cut file and it's different sizes um, just with a little bit of hot glue you can also see the white pieces so in the end I layered it with other dear Lizzie cards and wax paper envelopes that I just adhered them all together with that clothing pin Beautiful, beautiful little embellishments by Dear Lizzie. And you can see how pretty it looks. So you can actually put the invitation into that little wax paper bag. Right, so the next project is tags. And I'm going to be playing with um, blackboard ink and gold embossing powder and pretty things. So I just used three manila tags and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll them with a brayer and some black paint. I'm just going to cover them with um, blackboard paint. So there you go. You can probably paint it on but this is so quick to do this. It just goes on light so I used a couple of layers there and you just have to let them dry nicely but I actually loved the 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 stressed look um, I wasn't too bothered by it so once it's dry you we're going to um, emboss them right here you can see the dry tags and they actually straightened out quite well and basically what I'm going to do now is just emboss the top. So I'm using an embossing pad 
and I'm just you can see the marks it's making just the top like third maybe of it and I'm going to sprinkle it with um, some embossing powder there and I wasn't quite sure if the black ink on the last tag was dry so with a chalkboard paint and I didn't want my embossing pad to get all black so I just dabbed it and I decided to go for it and sprinkle it so I'm going to try get most of the gold back into that little bottle it's American craft embossing powder which I absolutely love and that's what's happening off camera now and now I'm just going to heat it up and I'm using my embossing tool for real embossing for once which is awesome and this is fun you can actually see the embossing powder when it's cooked it's quite fun the only thing is um, it's not a good idea to do it on your cutting mat because the cutting mat makes a bubble but yeah just remember that it's better to just pick up the tag or hold it with a little plier or something but do you can see the embossing powder cooking and once it's done we're just going to embellish it right in decorating the tags I do it all three at once which I think it's a it really helps you when you want to do uh, more than one is because it I don't know it it compounds the idea so uh, again I used cut files from that bundle that you saw earlier on and I'm layering it with those vellum pockets by dear Lizzie um, and now I'm just going to add before I stick anything down I'm just going to add more embellishments and um, And stickers and and bits and pieces of paper and and see how it works out how does it feel and then I'll okay except there <laughs> obviously oh man I always surprise myself when I think you know the what I should have done and what I actually did but anyway so this piece of trim is by obviously dear Lizzie but it's from her one of her very first collections and I remember I loved it so much I hoarded some of it and I still have some obviously and I use it and it's very precious to me almost like that gold vellum dots so the gold vellum is by my mind's eye and I had a left of a piece and you can see I'm just layering it with pieces and There's really no rhyme and reason. I'm just going on feeling. And that is actually what I love about working with mood boards or an idea is you don't necessarily want to create exactly the same image. You want to create a feeling. And that's what I, what I wanted here. I wanted something very layered, very in, involved, but also... Um, fascinating to look at must be just pretty I guess so I'm cutting off the leads from the celebrate I'm just going to adhere it with a piece of hot glue and this is how the tags get built upon I guess um, it's just layering figuring figuring out what do I want to add next and now I'm going to be writing um, on the blackboard paint with a white pen by American Craft, but but this one was a little too thick, I think. So I switched to my old faithful jelly roller. I love the white jelly roller. And once I was done, I adhered them to little bottles that I filled with gold paint 
and I just let the acrylic gold paint roll around in the bottles you can see there and with some um, baker's twine and it's the most beautiful little thing you can put in flowers you can put in anything there a couple of fresh pencils or paint brushes and it's just a perfect little gift or invitation you can also put it uh, around a champagne bottle for my 40th birthday invitations I made uh, little tags with um, not quite like this but I bought little champagne bottles and that was the invitation so that's a very good idea so the last project I have these little um, drawstring um, bags and you can see I have old um, cards um, what do you call them business cards and I'm just adding one to every bag because I'm going to be painting them and I don't want the sides to stick to each other so I'm mixing paint white acrylic paint a little bit of red a little bit of aqua and a little bit of purple and then I'm going to be painting the bags and th this is a good idea that those cards that I put into the bags they're not really going to leave the bags they're, so they're there in forever and ever and ever so um, I'm just painting it and I'm making it as smooth as possible because I knew I was going to um, stamp on them with the dear Lizzie stamps so I didn't want it to be super impasto at all and I decided to paint um, two green two red and two purple so I just want to paint it really quick and you can buy these bags I think I got these on Etsy and it's they're very cheap they you buy them by 50s or hundreds and and I bought them because I have a little photography business and I have cute memory sticks that I give to my clients and I thought it was a it's a nice little bag to put them in just as packaging and but I've been using them for so many other things so so there you go you just paint them And what I love about the acrylic paint is it sits on top of the material so it doesn't it doesn't get drawn in. So once it's dry, I'm going to be using the Heidi Swap ink and just um, black ink and I'm just going to stamp and there you go. One done. And this is so easy. It's really not difficult. It's and it's quite fun to do. Right, and for the actual little invitations, I used the cut file and I just um, measured it so that when the little envelopes is folded, it will go right into the envelope, into the little bag. So you can see I printed the invitation and I'm just adding it to the center of the little envelope and you can just fold it over and then um, 
I'm going to add some baker's twine to it and stick it into the little bag. Make sure that you watch the or look through the little gallery of images on my blog because these projects that I did for Dear Lizzie photographed so beautifully and um, I'm making a little um, gallery that you can see on my blog. So you can find little envelope cut files everywhere anyway. Um, you just have to measure them so that they fit into wherever you want them to fit into. So. And what I love about these double sided pattern paper is that you can each one looks different if you just um, fold them some out some in. Right and to keep them together just a little piece of washi tape and you can see they fit into the little bag perfectly. Here you go. And I also use the American Craft um, punch and I made little you can see the little tags and the idea is that every invitation's recipients um, initial go on the tag or the letter of their name so you can just add some thickers and do that and really you can embellish those little bags as however you want to so I love this typewriter font thickers and I did it a little differently um, in the end you'll see on the photos than I did here to just adhere the the tag I used twine but in the end I went for something different and here you can see the final little um, bags you can see I embellished them also with um, some trim and And just little things and look how pretty it looks. It's just simply beautiful. And what a difference a black clothes pin can make. And I just adhered the trim with a hot glue, um, hot glue, some hot glue. And then you can see I just wrap some twine around the little invitations. And they go into the bags and what a pretty little idea. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next Wednesday with a new page um, on vilnafurstenberg.com and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.